Greetings everyone. Yeah, I'm continuing on the part two of Hotosin Tutsa. So I promised on the last video that I'm going to speak about the political ties of Hotosi Tutsa and Dandrek Farvold an African National Party leader. So, in the eve of 1948, there was a secret meeting. It is believed that there was a secret meeting between Hotso Situnsa and Andrek Farvoud. It was the eve of the elections. And Farvoud is disbelieved that she was, he was given a muti that would deliver the elections and make the National Party win. And yes, the National Party won and most of the people, they, they said no, it was Situnsa's muti that helped the National Party to win. But on the other hand, there was a counter narrative that no, that's a fallacy because Hoto was, they believed he was an intelligence agency of the Bruder Bond. The Bruder Bond, the Africana Bruder Bond, the secret society, which was a, which is believed to be a dominant force behind the National Party during especially the, the era of apartheid 1948 because of it was silent organization so it's two stories so we don't actually know which one is which one but I hope people in the comment section, those who know what happened, will share. Those who were there during that time, especially about 1948, because it was a surprise seeing a white man going to get power to a black man. Amanda, we seem to sit in the Tunis or Yotwala for him to get those awards and it is believed there's a lot of talks that there are a lot of known leaders church leaders who used to go to a cock start but a cock start who holds on and when i actually read a lot and also a lot of articles and documents and it is said that people who stay closer to who stay Ugo Kopstad and Marcelo Sikisi where Emmanuel Nelson where U La Pistan Cape where Ukozo used to stay they were scared of the man they say it's a man who had great power and there's a lot of stories I even had the story of a person who stole a pumpkin for that belonged to Hozo. And when the lady got there to cut the pumpkin, the pumpkin started speaking and said, We said a move to my Ubabawa. And actually, you must never ever steal from Ubabawa again. If you want something from Ubabawa Mokoto, ask, you shall be given. I got scared now when hearing this story, reading them. I was like, sometimes you, especially when reading this history, you wish you were actually there to witness. Because if you can look back in history, especially in the late 